So, let's go to the phones without further ado, and we should have Margaret on the line. Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> I was aimed at anyway, Alec. Oh, well, don't let me stop you. Hey, where's Jimmy? He's uh, gone straight down to Helen's. Well, what brings you here, then? Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get off me! Get off it! Get off me now, Alec! What's this about him? Stop it! Stop him! Stop! Oh. You're the bigger nut job than your dad, Jim! What's this all about? I want to know what you've been up to with me, Dad. What? Looking after them the same as all of us? You know, because there's no one else around. I won't have him taken advantage of or made a fool of, right? I think the world here, Dad. What am I supposed to have done wrong? Oh, you know. No, I don't. Not a very good holiday then. Well, it was fine. Until he went stone cold about those emails you two were swapping. The emails? Oh, yeah. He was telling me about them every day. And they made up about your wedding and all that. And then it went all moody and wouldn't talk about it. Why are you blaming me? Did you not think to just ask him what his problem was? Of course I did. He just blanked it. You know, changed the subject and looked like he was full of problems. Well, could it not be something to do with his medication? You know, as you haven't been round here, you're not used to all the things oh, he hasn't put up with. Oh, at all. Just take them back, will ya? Look, he used to show me when he was taking his medication to put my mind at rest. You were the problem, and you still are. You never do anything. I do more than you. No, you don't. You're, you're just a waste of space. Oh, yeah. Like, you're not just a pain. What is it with you two? What are you arguing about now? Him not doing anything. Mum, ask you. Uh, hang on. I was still all unpacking from the move here. Now, what's she asked you to do? Get a bag of peas from the garage freezer. And that's all that you're banging on about? It's the principle. It's pathetic is what it is, and... Oh, I'll do it myself. If that's what it takes to get some peace around here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give him a couple more minutes. Down. So, uh, made your mind up about Hong Kong, yeah? Or what? No, not yet. But when I do decide, you'll be the last to know. Sean will never let you take Luke to Hong Kong. I wouldn't. Yeah, well, luckily it's not up to you. Yeah, well, now I know where the other two get it from. I'll tell you what, Halloween's getting a bit more sophisticated than my day. They're such fools. I thought I told them to come yeah, and get the I know, I thought it'd just be easier. See, look, it's just stuff. I just don't know. Well, something made him change completely, and it's definitely down to those emails. Are you sure nothing else happened that you might have missed? Yeah, I am sure we were having a great time. I mean, he kept going on about your wedding and all that, and then next thing he comes back from the cyber cafe and won't say a word. What was in those emails? Just stuff, wedding plans. Me being jealous. Jealous? Yeah. Of you not being over there in the sun having a great time, us being stuck here with our weather. Right. I bought him a phone on the way out. You know, one that sends pictures by email. Look, Naheem, I'm really sorry, but I know it's definitely got something to do with you. Hey kid, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm a Helen's. She sends her best wishes to you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now Dad might want to go to Hong Kong sooner than he thinks. He's probably on a day halfway there. <laughs> you should keep on running. <laughs> what are you two doing? Uh, maybe you should take the... Um... Will you two grow up and get that coffin out of the garage? Yeah, nice you... one, lads. Even your mother liked that. <laughs> You're so infantile. Take it back next door. Halloween's over for you two. It was good, though. Go! <laughs> They are idiots. Look at your face. <laughs> are you really scared? Yeah, well, I thought it was a cat in the coffin, didn't I? <laughs> no, nah, it was a good one, that. Even I used to get up to that type of stuff when I was a kid. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was worse when I was at college. I was doing engineering, had access to better stuff, mm. and there was things I needed to forget. Well, at least you're more entertaining than my two idiot brothers. Yeah, gonna really miss those two when we're in Hong Kong, aren't we? Not. There you go, Debs. There's a few hurdles to get over first. The major one being Sean. Your husband, father of Luke. You really have to sell him on the idea that it's a chance of a lifetime for Luke. Free trip across the world. Experience to remember for the rest of his life. Yeah, exactly. How can he deny him that? 
wish someone was paying for our American trip. But that's a holiday. Dan likes to really work hard when he's out there. I know, but our dream holiday is turning out to be a lot more expensive than we planned. What else would you spend the money on? The business, for one thing. Investing in that petrol station is our pension plan. Well, just enjoy your trip. The garage will always be there for you in the future. I suppose so. Meanwhile, I've got tea to cook. Um, do you need a hand? No, I'm fine. You carry on planning for Hong Kong. There's definitely nobody in. Good. Give him that back, I'll just do more trouble than to waste. We should keep it. She'll kill us? Nah, she knows we come back to haunt her then. <laughs> Halloween's not over. Till it's over. I still don't think this'll cope. Oh, it's no problem. You'd only be taking your own luggage, remember? Oh, in that case, it probably will do. Did then. you take in what I just said? Yeah, it sounded quite straightforward. Well, I'm not to going me. with you. So I hear. So you're travelling all the way to Spain, you're going to spend 12 weeks in Benidorm on your own? I expect there'll be other people there. But not the person who should be most important to you, your husband. Well, short of drugging you and packing you in a big case, what can I do? Oh. Three boss, we get the wavings, that suitcase. Yeah, imagine that going off in the airport, security, go what? I know, but I want to see the faces, though, then. Mm. Perhaps it is really a problem and you're just reading too much into things. No, it is serious. He didn't want to come home. That's why he went straight to Helen's. What about her? Has he been contacting her? Well, he says she's not really into computers. What do you think about her? She's all right. Do you think she's good for me, Dad? Yeah, I mean, they seem to enjoy each other's company. No, what I mean is, do you think she's the right person for him on a long-term basis? Who knows? Who knows except for the people that are involved? Well, at least you've seen them together. It's more than I have. Look, I just don't think that it's my place to say. I just want your advice, that's all. I mean, personally, I don't think my dad's in any state of mind at the moment for a long-term relationship. Well, why don't you make an effort, then? You know, meet Helen. Instead of coming round here on the bouncing after that one, eh? All right. How did the holiday go? It's crappy, holy spook. Where's it? Dan's gone to Bridget's where you go and sort your dirty washing out and throw a washing. All right, son. Hey, you bang the kettle on. I'll go in there. I'll we'll unpack this lot. Hey, <laughs> it's another condolence card. I'll swing for those Gordon lads. Oh, I don't know. It's uh, rather nice to think they'll send you one of these when you pop off. Which is a long way off for me. Your mind is still set, then? Your ticket's paid for tomorrow. It's a 12-week trial period to see if we'd like it permanently. I think that's a very reasonable idea. Can you just tell me what's so wrong with our lives that you, you had to uproot and, and go to a foreign country and, and live where we weren't meant to live? Yesterday, got up, spent the day with Ray, whose fascinating fact for the day was that Pontius Pilate was a Scotsman. Oh. I thought you were never going to knock. Oh, why, right. so you knew I was... Saw you through the window. <sighs> How are you? Yeah, good, good. Great to see you. Good to see you too. How was Florida? Excellent, yeah. I really missed you. <laughs> but not enough to send me more than one card or make more than one phone call. Oh, come on, don't be like that. I mean, you know, with one thing and another. Up early, on the coaches, out to the theme parks, queues at the pay phones, you know, time difference, all that palaver. Be honest. You're having such a good time, you just forgot all about me. No, no, time just, you know, flew by. Anyway, I'm here now. So, anything up while we're away? Um, in which particular area of our complicated domestic life, Dad? Well, you know, the cloughs. Hate mail. No, no. Nothing as exciting as me mother turning up. Tonight. I suppose so. Sure. Are your mum's? Yeah. I'd better get round there now. The kids have got all kinds planned for Halloween. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? 
when we were kids we never bothered with it much and now it's all trick or treat. Yeah, <laughs> get this over then it'll be Christmas, eh? Yep, and my dad'll come and stay with us. And is he? Well, it depends really on what Helen wants. I know he likes Newcastle. What about you? You still run your health club up there, yeah? Yeah, and loving it. Away the Lord. Great name, that. It is. Right, um, I'll get off then. Look, um, I'm sure it'll be all right, whatever it is with Jimmy. So, you're getting off, are you? So, did you pass the test? I'll leave it, um. It's okay. Look, I'm sorry. You know about kicking off it. It's just as me dad, and I've only got one. It's more than us, then, isn't it? Look, if I can think of anything to help Jimmy, then I will. Believe me. See ya. Don't tell me that it's an old watch. An old Mark medal and some anonymous bracelet. I wouldn't insult your intelligence. I can tell by your face that... That I knew more than I should. That you might not know exactly what's what. Now's the time to put the record straight then, isn't it? Do you know where they came from? My real mum. Well, how do you know that? She told me. <sighs> Don't tell me she's had the nerve to be in touch after all these years of not giving a damn. Well, that's not strictly true, is it? Now I've had their version of events and they don't tell you about what you've been telling me over the years. We could set fire to his paper and blame it on poltergeists. Listen, you thickos. My hearing's not turned off just because I'm reading the newspaper, you know. Now, don't you think this Halloween prank thing's just a bit too childish for you two? Yeah, it's the wrong channel of a laugh. Hello. Yeah. No, they're being the usual pains. Oh, yeah, I'm up for it if you are. It's just that... Hang on a minute. <laughs> Listen, lads, I'm under considerable pressure here to try and work out this Hong Kong trip thing, so could you please just give me a break? Ooh. Yeah, they've just gone. OK. I'm under considerable pressure. <laughs> Listen, lads, do you think we could all start afresh here? Now, I know you both got on with Sean and you resent me being here, but don't you think we could all at least just try and get on, eh? You're not a husband, though, are you? Yeah, or Luke's dad. Yeah, but circumstances change, don't they? Your Ruth's chosen to be with me now, and I think the least you two could do is just give us a chance. Why should we? Yeah, you're just a bit on the side. And what good does an attitude like that achieve? We're being honest. Did you tell Sean? Yeah, and... Um... Sean won't even discuss Luke going to Hong Kong, and it's made me reevaluate everything. I'm not going either. Ruth, I love you. I've always loved you. You've always loved me. We can work something out here. No, it's just brought matters to a head. It's over, Dan. It's better to make a clean break. A clean break? I'll show you how much I love you. I've told you the truth! Oh, like this, me granddad's watch, me real grandmother's bracelet, a medal for bravery, a family history that you wanted to deny us. You must have been rubbishing through all my things to come up with all this stuff. You had no right! Don't you ever talk to me about rights. Most of my life I've been swallowing your version of what's right and wrong. It's all been garbage, hasn't it? You've kept kids away from the mother. What sort of man are you? I don't know what she said to you, and I can't imagine why she's been in touch. But she sent all that stuff out of guilt. And I knew it would do more harm than good stirring up memories you might have of her. Might have? I was 11 years old when you split up. I remember it as if it was yesterday. My mother, that you've been lying about for most of my life. What did she say? You're really breaking it, aren't you? Is the truth really so hard to take? What else have you been hiding Don't from us? Don't talk to me like that. I brought you up, remember? I was the one here worrying about you every day. I nursed you through all kinds of scrapes. I've been a father and a mother to you. And she's got no right coming here, stirring up trouble between us. She's every right. She gave birth to me, Adele and Anthony. They've been deprived of it all their lives because you lied about what really happened. And what exactly did she say then, eh? She said she's never stopped loving or caring about us. And you believed that? Well, she's proved it by telling me what she's done over the years. She's done things like been to school sports days, seen Adele sing in the choir. She's a complete stranger! You don't even know her! How come you're taking her side against mine? Why didn't you pass on the stuff she sent us? We'll just be upstairs, Dad. All right, love you. Mum! Mum! <laughs> <laughs> I see you work, then. I did it because I thought it was best for you. I knew she wouldn't want to know you, and I didn't want to encourage any false hopes. It's only natural that you wanted to love you and for you to be sympathetic about what she's got to say, but, but you've got to believe me. No. 
That was before when I'd only heard one verse. Now I've heard about you never being a home. She's lying to you! I'm only bothered about being out playing football, getting drunk with your mates until all I was... She's trying to poison you against me. <sighs> well, she doesn't know you now. And you definitely don't know her. And how malicious she can be. But from what she tells me about you, Dad, do I really know you or do I even want to? Because you're nowhere near the man I always thought you were. It's good when a couple can enjoy each other's company, doing ordinary things. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, anyone can have a good time, you know, and get along when there's loads going on, like theme parks, things like that. But cleaning up? <laughs> I know what you mean. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. Right, OK, um... Well, while I was away, I... Oh, hell. Oh, Lindsay got me this. Take pictures and everything. <laughs> oh, Lindsay. The only one who ever calls me. <laughs> Hi, love. Go on, then. How did you do it? Right, well... <clears throat> when I was unpacking your dad's DIY stuff and generally helping out and mucking in... All right. I found one of those plastic bung things, you know, that you use to blow out the dust when you've drilled it. Well, one of those. So next, you need a plastic tube. Is he OK? Yeah, he's asleep. I don't know what's wrong with him. Do you think he's sickening for something? It wouldn't surprise me. The state he was in when I picked him up from Sean's. I think there's no soap and water in that house. Talk about neglect. So he didn't get the chance to talk about Hong Kong, then? No, the atmosphere was all wrong. He'd have definitely dug in against it. Pig that he is. You're going to have to take the tone down a bit if you want to get anywhere. Diplomacy works better than confrontation. What? Why? I always have to clean up after him. He has all the fun, I get all the hassle. Hey, I think me and the lads have just reached an understanding. Well, for today, at least. Halloween ceasefire? Yeah, exactly. And I showed him how to do it. <laughs> Better watch out next year, then. Hey, with a bit of luck, we won't be here next year. No disrespect intended. I was just saying to Ruth, she's going to have to tread carefully with Sean. Yeah, but surely you can see the benefits of Luke going on the trip in the long run. I think you might be crediting my ex with a lot more sense and understanding than he's capable of. And the way he must be treating his own kid, not even giving him a proper wash. We've all done that. Diplomacy. I know. So your own house will be ready in a couple of weeks? Yeah. So I can move back any time after that. What does Ron say about you going? Well, to be quite honest, I think he'd like me to stay. He relies on me a lot, and he really enjoys my company. We get on like a house on fire. Really? Well, he doesn't tell me that, does he? He's a man. But I know what he's thinking underneath all that gruffness. I expect Diane will miss you too, not living nearby. Oh, definitely. I don't think a holiday was all she wanted it to be. Going away doesn't always leave the past behind, you know. If that's meant to put me off, it won't. I'm going. But Ray's dead against it. Well, only because he won't give us a chance. I mean, what could be better than a 12-week trial run? I might not like it. Well, what if you don't like it and he does? Have you thought of that? Well, that's a chance I'm prepared to take. That's the difference between us. I, I was just saying, what if you like it and Jesse doesn't? Well, we're not going to find out, are we, eh? Because I'm not going. Listen. We... We're born and bred in this country, and that's where we should live. Rubbish. All our friends are here. What friends? Apart from bitches. And, and the family, the girls. They'd love it if we went to live in Spain. They'd have an excuse to come out and soak up the sun. The telly will be all wrong. We'd have satellite. You wouldn't oh. have to miss a program. <sighs> I don't want to die abroad. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Does it really matter? Oh. All right, love. Yeah. Listen, say the night to Wills, won't you? All right, kid, I see you. Ooh. Sorry about that. Your jet lag. Yeah, something like that, I suppose. Um, what I was saying before is Steph. Oh, no, she's, uh, she's staying at her mates, I think. Oh. I expect you're looking forward to getting back into your own bed, aren't you? Well, actually, I'm not that bothered about going back to ours tonight. All right. So after hardly contacting me, you thought you'd just pop round for a quick leg over, did you? No way. Not like that. No, it's... Well, things are a bit awkward with Nicky. Oh? Huh? And Jerome are having a few problems, so... Thought I'd give him a bit of space, you know, uh, even if it's just for tonight. <clears throat> well, I, I'm not entirely sure that Steph is staying at her mate's home. Could be a bit embarrassing if she just came back. Hey, I didn't mean to take you for granted. You can 
stay in the spare room, I suppose. Well, if it's not too much trouble. It's no trouble. I didn't have an affair. I didn't abandon you, Adele and Anthony. Your mother did. That doesn't justify you cutting it out of our lives. Can she cut you out? If she was so keen on being in touch, why didn't she go to court? Well, you've missed out, Dad. There's no turning the clock back. But you owe to Adele and Anthony to speak to her and sort something out. Oh, man. There is no way I'm meeting her. And you are not to tell them anything about it or do anything else to encourage her. Dad, she's back. It's out of our hands now. If she wants to get in touch, she will. And there's nothing you can do about it. Dad? What do you think you're doing? Don't you think I've got enough on me, man, without you not acting stupid? Just thought it'd be a laugh. We're going to a party. What time is it for you? I haven't a clue. Hey, listen, I'm serious about you, me and Steph going over there, you know. I mean, I know you'd love it. It'd be good to go. As a family. Oh, something to think about, isn't it? I was thinking a lot about you when I was there. <laughs> it's very flattering. Hey, I'm serious. Oh, it's good to know it. To be honest, I wouldn't have been surprised if you hadn't called round for ages after the way we parted. That never even crossed my mind. We've got something good going for us, haven't we? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I am. I think we're good for each other. What's the matter? I'm not sure. It's not you, it's me. What do you mean? Nothing. I think... I think you've probably just taken me by surprise, coming round so unexpectedly. Well, you knew when I was coming home. You should have known I'd be round here to see you as soon as I could. I thought you'd go straight home. Oh, I couldn't wait to see you. Helen, I think we were made to be with each other. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Huh? Will you marry me? me into meeting there. What did you expect? A picnic in the park? No, the truth. What's been going on? Look, I don't think I am the right person to give you away. You're the only person to give me away. Do you want us to break up? No. You hesitated. What is going on with you and the mate? Why does the whole world think me and Jimmy Corkle are having it off? That's tomorrow's Brookie double bill from 8 o'clock. Next on for a featureless space becomes a relaxing, beautifully designed dining room. From house to home. Coming up. The world. <laughs> I got one postcard and one strained phone call, and that was out of duty, I think. The last thing on your mind was popping the question. Why now? Why not? Because we are still dating, that's why. Finding stuff out about each other. I might do stuff in the future that drives you insane. Like what? Hide my lithium tablets. You don't even know what my pet hates are. I'll always put the seat down, OK? I won't let one off and hold your head under the duvet covers. Say, I'll make you smile. I'll carry your heavy shopping for you. Give you the cuddle when you're down. You do that for me now. I might drag our feet. <laughs> because I'm not one to rush into things lightly. Come on, H, what's your gut feeling? Uh, uh, if I'm press ganged any further, the answer's no. <sighs> You haven't even told me you love me. I love you. I made you say that. I thought it went without saying. And you say things without thinking. OK, then. 
How about another form of persuasion? Look. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to presume or nothing, but that'll be the wedding card I booked for the church. Oh, you reckon, mm. dear? Helen, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, is Jimmy there, please? Now's not really a very good time. Are you, when are you going to speak to her? Not now, Steve. She needs to see you. And I need to see her like I need another hole in me backside. What happens if she turns up and dies here, eh? You need to get in there first, talk to Christy, find out where she lives. You've got enough time on your hands. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, oh, that one's from Tony, the butcher, commiserating with me on your sudden death. Why didn't you shout and, 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 and call me to, to bed? Because you look so cosy in that thing. You know, those kids next door, they put, they put a gadget in my chair. I thought I was going to see now. Go and see now. Hell, they've been nothing but trouble since that family moved in next door. Parties, loud music, parking willy-nilly, fighting in the clubs, police being called. Well, I won't have to put up with this another day longer, will you? Oh, so you, you're definitely going to go without me, then? There are two tickets booked on that flight tomorrow morning. But what about Helen? She's just walked into my life. I can't turn me back on her. Helen can look after herself. Anyway, she's got Jimmy now, hasn't she? Whatever happened to your hopes and dreams, your ambitions? But well, the garden isn't finished. Stay and finish it, then. And then you can sit in that precious chair for the next 20 years looking at it until the real bereavement cards pile up. The next trip you'll be offered is in a hearse. If you go, that's it. It's all over. It's not nearly over. My life's just starting. I don't know about you, but I'm a long way off eating mashed banana and going to the toilet in a bag. Where have you been? Uh, Florida. Lindsay said all kinds of on me upsetting you. The Kellonage. You know where it is? Look, I don't think this is the right Why haven't you been back to the house? I wanted to see this one. To avoid me? No. Then why all the silent treatment then? Oh, come on, Jim. We're mates. If we've got our wires crossed over something, then it'd be stupid to let it spoil anything. Look, I just felt things were getting a bit familiar. Hey. And uh, no, not familiar, just a bit much. Spending all that time in an internet cafe instead of being out sightseeing. Jimmy, you're giving me away because you're like a dad to me. How can you and me be too much? Or too familiar? What's been going on? Look. I don't think I am the right person to give you away. You're the only person to give me away. Nikki, you're confused. Damn right I am. I changed my wedding to fit round your plans. It nearly didn't happen because of it. But I stuck it out because that's how important you are to me. Come on, the least you can do is tell me why you're dumping on me from such a great height. It depended on me too much. We're mates. We're supposed to lean on each other. We're more than mates. We're like family. You'd never treat Lindsay like this. You're not me daughter, are you? I just think we should put a bit of distance between us. I'm not leaving till you tell me why. I think you better had. I think you've caused enough trouble by the sounds of things. I've done nothing. Oh, not much. Mean and what? Interfering? No, I don't. Oh, you know you do, day in, day out. Wanting to control his every move. I saw how panicky you got when I first came on the scene. Telling me, warning me off, saying that I couldn't control his No, I said that out of concern. Or jealousy. No, I wanted to see she'd be there to look out for you. So what's your excuse this time, then? Why have you come barging in now? So I thought I sort things out. You have made things ten times worse. Go on, get out. Jimmy. Oh, not the apple of his eye now, eh? It's not like that. Go on, get out, go and find your next... Charity case! Nick? She's gone out, you know. What time is she back from a lecture? She's uh, gone to Helen's. She went to see Jimmy. She's what? Well, what time did she go? Ages ago, you know. She had something to sort out. She's not totally with us, is she? Mind you. Probably wedding jitters. I'd be worried and all if I was marrying you, the god on you. Sam! What do you think? What? Me up to? You are? Oh, cracky for your big day, you know. Mind you, I suppose I'll have to see what Nicky's doing with it. Don't want to have a channel or anything, do I? 
Emily, it's fabulous. Look, please, on your girl. Is Jack Emily could be best off with? I don't know. Sean is proper dad. But dad's meant to be boarding and stay job. Yeah, look at ours. Exactly, responsible. Right, hot air balloon. Sean or Dan has to jump to their death. Dan jumps? No, I meant Sean or Dan. One or the other has to stay to look after Luke. You never said that. Sean then stays. No, Sean jumps. No, I said who stays. You never said that. You said who jumps. Who then? Well, jumping or staying. Looking after Luke. In a hot air balloon. I'm gonna batter you. Dan, he's well more sensible. Besides, Sean's more likely to mess things up. Be worth it, though. Yeah, what? Him taking Luke. Imagine the fight. Sean kicking Dan's teeth out. Yeah, sure. Right. I'll have a front row seat. What went wrong? We got worn down. With each other? Circumstance. Lack of support. Stuff being said you can't take back. Can't or won't. That's up to you. No. You were the one who first had doubts about me, remember? Do you want us to break up? No. You hesitated. You're not sure. You've got to be dead sure. Do you want us to stay together and make it work? I need to know because it's killing me. Uh, uh, of course I want us to stay together. You can't even look me in the eye and say it. I need reassuring that it's the right thing. I, I, I'm not feeling too good. Oh, I'm on top of the world. Bye. All right, Marty. What are you doing here? What happened to your face? What are you doing here, Jan? I'm going to call in and see my kids. Oh, no, you're not. No way. Please stay away. Have a right. You lost that right ten years ago. I'll get back in your car and you drive away. You drive a long way away. Hi, Dad. Hi, <laughs> love. Adele? I saw her the other day. I thought she looked familiar the other day. She's turned out. Yeah, you probably didn't recognise her because she wasn't crying. It wasn't always like that. And I want my chance to tell my side of the story. No chance. I think they'd listen. Steve's beginning to. Yeah, because he was upset and confused. Oh, you've got a nerve turning up here. Out of nowhere. I've fought wanting to turn up for years. Longing to know how my kids were doing. Hearing nothing. Because you saw to that. Heartbroken every time it was one of their birthdays. Every Christmas. Wondering, hoping they were happy. Spending the violins. But when the cops called round about that cluff girl, asking questions about you, dragging a par pad, it seemed like the right chance I needed to get back in touch again. Or come round for the gossip. To gloat about their dad being a child killer. No, Marty. I've called you some things in my time, but not that. It never entered my head. You haven't got it in you. I know you're innocent. To pay for the petrol. You say one word. Then we're having a chat at that bar over there. No way. You've got to talk. I've got nothing to say. I have. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear it. Ten minutes, that's all I want. We can grab a coffee there. No. In that case, I'll call round at my own convenience. I told you. Your way or my way. Back at my house. One hour. You can say your piece, then that's it. Pump number one, please. Do you want a back receipt with that? Do I look like I earn that much? Do you work here full time? Part. And that's only to fund my social life. Not doing air levels? Yeah, second year. Sign there, please. What subjects? Geography, boring, English lit and history. Clever clogs. Thanks. <laughs> that your dad over there? Yeah, why? Do you know him? Apparently not. Good luck with it all. Cheers. She was a nice woman. Most of the customers don't even look at me. What were you talking about? She just wanted some directions. So. <gasps> She's not stupid. So why didn't you tell her the truth? You told me that giving her away would be one of the happiest days of your life. 
An email she sent me wasn't right. Then she said something like, you'll be telling me you love me next. And you do. And you feel ashamed. Oh, God. No, no, I never replied. Were you thinking? No, it freaked me out. Were you thinking of her the first time you went with me? No. Have you been with her? No. I knew it was a weird set. Not like she said, we're just mates. You want to take it further? Does she? It's got nothing to do with sex. Who are you trying to kid? She's half my age. She's half my weight. She's gorgeous. How can I compete with her? Helen! What I can't work out is what she's doing sniffing around the likes of you. I mean, it's hardly the job, the money and the fast car, is it? I've said nothing to lead her on. If I'd only listened to Goldilocks... Come on, glad that you never... Look, if you'll just calm down, Helen. You know, if you can work this out with me. We were all right this morning, weren't we? We've been through loads together. All the upset with Ray, finding your real mother, losing her. She walked out. And I want you to do the same. No, cos I'm not like Sylvia. I care about you. Finding that woman was the only thing we had in common. And now it's over. I thought I was getting somewhere with you. Well, well, you're not. You're not. I said I wouldn't always be there, didn't I? Helen. Save your energy, Jimmy. Save it for making up with Nicky. Right. Are you? Jimmy's just blown me out. Why? He's not coming to the wedding. Well, what's happened? If I knew that. You must know something. He stopped emailing me when he was in Florida. And I just wanted to know why, and he told me to back off. Why was he emailing you? Why does anyone? Were you emailing him? Yeah. Do you know, please don't get funny. It's just you never mentioned it, that's all. Because they were just about the weather over there. Not me getting G'd up about the wedding. It was just silly stuff. What stuff you wanted to hide? Oh, not that trip again. Maybe I never told you, because every time I say the word Jimmy, you see red. I'm by the sounds with Nicky. I've got good cause to be. Read the emails I sent him. Read the ones he sent me. I've got nothing to hide. And I'm not a snoop. And you've got to believe me. What is going on with you and him, eh? Why does the whole world think me and Jimmy Corkle are having it off? Because something must have gone on. Why does he want nothing to do with you? I don't know. Wake up, Nicky. Fact. He fancies you. He doesn't. And he's cut you off because he can't handle the fact that you're marrying me. Oh, that a fact, is he? He knows how his mind works, eh? I suppose you've only got yourself to blame. Why aren't you ever on my side? You're as bad as Lindsay, attacking me when I've done nothing wrong. Why didn't you listen to me? I told you to stay away from him right from the start, right from when he got out of hospital. You look dead ugly when you're jealous, do you know that? Angry, that's what I am. Disappointed, having doubts big time about whether I want to commit to a wife who doesn't know the difference between friendship and flirting. Maybe Jimmy's got a point, eh? Maybe I could do with some cool enough time as well. Well, maybe that's the best news I've heard all day. Go on, you know, walk away. Take the easy way out. Is this how it's going to be, is it? You do one every time I get an email, a text, or a phone call from a member of the opposite sex. You're on borrowed time. Thanks for agreeing to see me. Yeah, well, I'm pleased you never introduced yourself to Aradell. You want the right time. It never will be. You can't keep me away. I'm not having you messing with their heads. We're all settled here and we have been for a long time. Happily? That why you've been getting into fights? Well, my wife didn't beat me up, that's for sure. Been there, suffered that. What was it? After much kick-off, pub brawl? I was attacked. Provoked? You know that girl that went missing, Imelda? Her brothers wanted me dead. I'm sorry. I should be strung up. Yeah, well, our Steve nearly sorted her. He's a brave lad, then. Or stupid. <laughs> Sticking up for you? I wish I had someone fight in my corner. Have you come round here looking for sympathy? I've read the papers, I've heard the rumours. You've been through a rough time, I can see that. But what about the kids? How have they coped? Will you stop with the concerned routine? Just say what you've got to say, then do one. If my wife catches you here, she'll go through the roof. She good with them? Better than you ever were. She's more of a mother than all. I'm their mother. That's a type you've got to earn, it's not God-given. They're my kids! Yeah, you're related by blood, but that's where it stops. And you sing to that, all right? Oh, just like the good old days, eh? Mummy and Daddy tearing a strip. Maybe we can smash a few plates later, break a few bones. Or was it just this one? You were the one who hassled me into meeting there. What did you expect? A picnic in the park? No, the truth. And why I was kept from it for so long. You know the truth! Your version, maybe! Well, let's hear it all now, together.
Oh, God! Fire! Linz? Lindsay? Your real daughter's round at Jackie's. Surprised you're not a Helen's. I think we all need a bit of space. Yeah. Well, I'll get out your way in a bit. Going to me nan's. Jerome? He's waiting in the bath for me, big bottle of champagne. Nikki. What? I want the best for you. What? What? I just can't give you what you want. <laughs> you missed your appointment with your CPN today. I would remind you, like, but I hate to look like I was interfering. I thought we'd gone up in flames again. Oh, I was just burning the chairs, you know. Took a lot of mind. Flame uh, retardant uh, foam and that. It's a uh, high safety standard. It's reflected in the price, of course. Why? I just want to get rid of a lot of old-fashioned rubbish, you know, move with the times. But they cost an arm and a leg. Yeah, it's a small price to pay to hold on to my wife. Being in these isn't enough to keep me here. Oh. So, uh, this is goodbye, then. Right. It's goodbye to the old Ray and hello to the new. You don't think I was going to let you wander around Spain being chatted up by those locals, do you? That's my job, senorita. Look, I want to come with you, if you'll have me. <laughs> I love you. I really do. I wanted her out of our lives for good. That's the truth of the matter. We want it take for you to sympathise with that decision, two broken arms. Me seeing my kids shouldn't have been your decision to make. He denied me the one thing I wanted the most. You couldn't have wanted it that badly. I tried. That's why I sent the jewellery. Sort of family heirlooms. You should have passed them on to us. I didn't want you to have any reminders. Any memory. She was mad. You made me mad. The mood swings were off the Richter scale. Postnatal depression. That's how much understanding he had of it. After last orders, of course. You're a mess, John. Pull yourself together. You've let yourself go. I did it all for your benefit. Yours, you mean? And what about Vinny? Let's not forget you had an affair with my best mate. You pushed me into Vinny's arms. You fell of your own free will. There was nothing else for me. You didn't love me, but you hated being cheated on. And the only way of coping with it was to punish me. You don't get second chances. Even if it takes a lifetime of trying, of them hating me, pushing me away, I'll keep coming back. Until you realise, until Adele and Anthony realise how much I love them. Not Anthony. Not Adele. Adele's old enough to make your own mind up. Hands too young. Can't handle it. One step at a time. I'll call you tomorrow, then. You won't. And you can let me know what Adele says about meeting her properly this time. I can tell you that now. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Steve. It means a lot to me. Oh! There's a smoke on to your head. We're both off first thing in the morning. <gasps> Brilliant. Hey, what's the change, Ray? I love you, Nan. I can't live without her. It's as simple as that. I hope you and Jerome feel the same at our age. Are they your cheers? Hey, if I could have flogged then. <laughs> They're not worth a bean. Where is Jerome? I don't know. I mean, he went into uni. Oh, while I think about it, remind me to give you the spare keys later. You and Tim can keep an eye on the place. And the door's always open for you and Jerome, you know. You can't spend your honeymoon at Jimmy's. We might go away, Nan. <laughs> Hey, listen, if Jimmy's speech is a bit tricky, I don't mind being his understudy. Well, I'm from Spain. Hey, you know we'll be back for your big day. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, I'm really going to miss you. Yes. I know. And you, Ray, what are you going to do with all the peria? <laughs> Look, it's no big deal, you know. You go to the John Lennon airport, catch a plane, it's just like getting a bus. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I hate her. I hate everything about her. Nothing's changed. From the same snidey look in her gob to the horrible smell of the perfume she's still wearing. This isn't about how you feel. Why should I give her what she wants? Forget about her. I intend to. Think about Dill. It had cut her up. Well, she thinks she was abandoned by her own mother. She was. Jan's only come back because she's lonely. Wondering why she made such a mess of her life. Well, she's not doing that to my family. Look, you don't have to have anything to do with her. Of course I do. She's stalking my kids. I'm involved. She's not stalking. She's bad news. Will you listen to me? Or what? You put me up against the wall again? Del's got a right to know. You know, she might spit in her face, but at least she's been given that chance. You've only spoken to this woman for five minutes and you're on her side. I'm on Del's side and so should you be. Di's gonna have to know and all. 
What, you want to watch me and Di go through a divorce? Well, there's no point in lying to her, cos she'll find out. I mean, she'll turn up out the blue and then how will you explain that? I'll handle it. What? In another 12 years? I said, I'll sort it. I'll tell them. Yeah, you better add. Cos if you don't, I will. I mean it, Dad. They're all too old to be treated like kids. There's nothing between us. Oh, no. Doesn't want to see you now. Go on, get out. Dad, you get in the kitchen and take out Adele with you. I want us to talk about it properly. Nikki, I don't. Which one? Talk about it or him give me away. You know which? Do I have to ask you to make a choice, him or me? <laughs> and that's not the half of it. All hell breaks loose on Brookside Close next on four. You're meeting them. Because they're both too young to cope. I hope Nikki realises what she's doing. You should kick it out for this. It's just a misunderstanding. Unfair is you walking out ten years ago. No. You. You're entitled to nothing. Not after all these years. You've no right to talk to her like that. It's up to Anton Adele if you want to I'm see I'm their it. father and I say no! God, I could kill our Christy for letting her know where we live. You know, I've virtually been paying her to look after you. And she's ruined your life. Oh, don't talk soft. Well, who else is to blame? Does anyone have to be to blame? I mean, it probably wouldn't have worked out with me and Helen anyway. She told me, standing, right there. I shouldn't take her for granted. Said if things got tough, she might walk away. And who made it tough? Nikki. Dad has saw all those emails. She managed to convince me there was nothing in them. No, there isn't. But the amount of them. Come on, she was virtually stalking you. <laughs> what? Virtually stalking. <laughs> well, no wonder Helen got uptight with you. Nah. Me and Helen. Oh, I was just kidding myself. First woman I meet after splitting from your mother and I just threw myself at her. The best part of the breaking up is the making up. I probably served my purpose. I found Sylvia that night, her mother. And after that, then there was no purpose to us. Nothing to keep us going. Dad, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah, go on. You go. I'll talk to you later. We agreed quarter past. Sorry. I got stuck on the roof. You know, I had to go to work. And what the hell do you think I'm... Sorry. Look, well, I'm here now, aren't I? Yeah, well, I'm a bit pushed for time. The thing is, me and Dan... This is why I'm annoyed you're so late. I want to talk about it properly. We wanted to go on a trip and... On what? You want me to look after Luke so you can just swan off? Uh, we'll talk about it later when you bring Luke back from the fireworks, yeah? Oh, she's still gonna let me do that then. Please. Where are you taking him? Ah, just the park. Isn't that the usual? Do you remember the air stars last year? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was freezing. Yeah. Seems like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? We'll talk about it later when you get back. Okay. I'm just shooting round to my mum's to get our Kylie. Are you coming back for the fireworks? Oh, well, I said I'd do my mum's for her. Oh, come on, Dad. We have just spent a few weeks together. 
Well, I'm not really in the mood. Tim and Emily have made the effort, but... I promised Carly I'd take her to see a schoolmate you know, before we go back to Newcastle. I'll see you before you go, won't I? Yeah, of course. What's that? You read it. It's the speech for Nikki's wedding I did in Orlando. Dad, I wish you'd forget about giving her away. And you want to get rid of those two as soon as possible. Look, I can't let her down. Look, I am not forking out for her again, not after all of this. She's getting married. You won't have to. Things won't be the same. Dad, how do you really feel about her? There's nothing between us. Well, you said that a bit quick, didn't you? And how do you expect me to react? When people are acting as if I'm some big perv, lecturing after some girl who, who, who's younger than my own daughter. OK, OK, you just... You just seem a bit wrapped up in her, that's all. Yeah, but not how you might think. Or Helen. Look, you read this. Me and her have been through too much together for me to just go and turn me back on her now. Well, no wonder Helen binned you off. There's no need for that. You never even met the woman. You didn't even give me a chance. All right, OK. Things got a bit out of hand yesterday. I'll see Nicky. I'll get it sorted. Not working? Doesn't look like. All right, who threw the teddy out of your prom? Look, sit down, will you? What? My dad doesn't want you to know about this. What? Look, just sit down and listen. I don't want to freak you out or anything, but a real mum. She's dead. She's been back in touch. I've talked to her, my dad has. She's... she's not dead? I don't really know what's going on, but she's heard all this stuff about my dad and the police coming around and all that, and... she wants to see you. I talked to her the other day, told her to do one, but she won't. I don't know if it's a good thing, but I think you're old enough to be able to see her if you want to. I think that's against it, though. How'd you know? I talked to her. You talked to her? When? Met up a few weeks ago. You and her? Yeah. Why? Which bit? Why'd she come back? Well, she was worried about the police coming around. They had to talk to her. I thought. Well, I thought she was dead. I mean, everyone always acted like she was dead. Me dad, me mum, even me nin. And you? Did you know? No. Well, yeah, I mean, I considered her dead, but... Where is she? She lives in Salford. What's she look like? You've seen her. My dad said you saw him talking to her at the Bessel station the other day. He said it was someone asking directions. Why didn't anyone tell me? <sighs> Del. Leave me alone. Del, come back. All right. Hiya. Look, about yesterday, I'm sorry. I mean, I was all over the show, you know, what I said and that. Tell me about it. So I'm sorry, all right? Why was Helen so nasty to me as well? Does she think there's something going on between us? No. <laughs> no. Look, just forget it, will you? I was probably jet lagged or something. Anyway, there's no need to prove anything to her. Me and Helen... <sighs> we're finished. I asked her to marry me. She knocked me back. Is this the same all goes me? I didn't realise. No wonder you were so upset. I will give you away. If you'll have me. <sighs> that me second knock back then. No, 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 Jimmy, listen. It's just I don't know where me and Jerome stand at the moment. Better get the tea on the night. Yeah. Bitch. 
she'll be on this. Oh, I thought it'd take all day to get this stuff together. Tell me about it. Why is this Jeff fella having a Halloween party on Bammy night anyway? <laughs> Who cares? As long as we're there. <laughs> <laughs> Too. Hey, we've got all the supplies. You up for it, Jay? Come on, allow me to come and ask. We're gonna have a people's bummy. Chili supper, fireworks. Hey, where is Jimbo? It's upstairs. There'll be boss. Oh, to veil. Go ahead. Oh, I've got a lesson to finish. Go ahead. Oh. So, talk. What about, eh? Or need I ask? Jimbo. Him and Helen have split up. Like, that's a surprise. Well, I haven't got to the bottom of that yet. But she gave me a right going over. The whole world's gone paranoid over me emails. And there's nothing in them, believe me, there isn't. I've even double checked them all in case I was the one going mad. And now I just, I just feel so guilty that she split up with Jimmy. What's up with you? Look, Nick, I've got a lot on and I can't be dealing with all this. So what are you going to do then? Slip off to Kev's again? Look, I want Jimmy to give me away and I want us to talk about it properly. Nicky, I don't. Which one? Talk about it or him give me away? You know which? Do I have to ask you to make a choice, him or me? What? Look, don't be like that. Look, Nick, I can't handle all this. Why'd she go? Well, she couldn't look after us properly. What do you mean? Well, when she had hands, she got postnatal depression. She couldn't cope. Why? Well, I told you, she couldn't look after us. So she just dumped us and me dad? What a cow. Look, it wasn't like that. You don't understand. Hi, love. Why didn't you tell me? I told you not to tell her. I did what I thought was right. You had no right! You lied to me. You told me you didn't know her. Look, love. Why didn't you tell me who she was? I didn't want to hear. She knew who I was. Why didn't she say anything? Well, she, she didn't know who you were at first. She didn't even recognise me. Well, she did when I told her. He said she left because she couldn't look after us. Is that true? Look, it's not that simple. She wanted to go, yeah, but... She actually walked out on us. You told me she was dead. No, I didn't, love. Well, you didn't deny it when I asked. Look, I think me dad was doing his best not to hurt you. We all were. Not like her, then. There's a lot you don't understand. Is there? She walked out on us, didn't she? So she's got to understand that I never want to see her again. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I've told her we don't want anything to do with her. She's got no right doing this to us. I never want to see her again. I mean, if it makes it. you feel uncomfortable, and you don't want to know. Well, that's that, Dad. What the hell? I told you to keep away. Hello, Adele. She doesn't want to see you. Now go on, get out, Dad. You get in the kitchen and take out Adele with you. I think we should be in on this. Just do it. I told you I'd be back and I want to see my kids. Can't you take a hint? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? She's stupid. Don't talk to me like that. She doesn't want to know. I've got three kids, remember? After 11 years. And Anthony wouldn't even know it if he fell over you. I want to talk to my children. Yeah, well, you're not on. I do have rights. I'm their natural mother and I'll go to the courts if I have to. Get out. I mean it. Can't you talk about this without rowing? She's leaving. I'll eat my kids. I forgot it was Jim today. Go and tell him. Tell him who his real mother is. He does. No way. Where are up sock? He couldn't keep his eyes off you. Oh, behave. He's with that girl from Chester. So what? He's not married to her. You play a card right tonight. And I'll put a bit of chewy on his neck for you. Yeah. And I'll turn him into a frog if he even looks at me. <laughs> you little swine. Have you been spying on us? I heard everything. So everything. Oh, you Perth. You're bunking off school. So what? 
My dad would like to know about that, wouldn't he? Go and get back to school. No, wait. I mean it. I'm getting a buddy. Fancy a bite, Lizzie? Think you could handle me? Can't we arrange something? I mean, can't we meet some other time? Somewhere away from here? I'm here now. And look what's happened! I mean, what good is this gonna do? Dad, what's going on? Look, Marty, I'm sorry it's happening like this, but I've talked to Steve, and these kids haven't heard the truth about you and me. All right. All right, if it's got to happen, let's do it while we're all here. No! Want her out? Come on, Del, just listen. Then if you want, you can kick her out. Come on, I thought you'd be well up for the people's bomb, Don't take the mick. I knew she wasn't my fear all along. I mean, you got all obsessed with finding that one from Iceland, but... That was what she was looking for. I mean, what about you? I wasn't looking. I was running away. From what? Fear of loneliness. Oh, wait, Jimmy, I wouldn't hurt you meant to get lonely with all us, Larry. Yeah, but you won't be here forever, will you? Well, I hope not. I mean, but I'm talking about now, today. You're not going to get lonely today. <sighs> no, I suppose not. And anyway, we've got a shed load of fireworks there. Loads of drinks coming around, and our mate's going to be here. All right, let's live for today, eh? Yeah, that'd be a laugh. And apart from that, well, I've got all the stuff with the chilli and we all clap at making it, so we need you to get it right. <laughs> See, you're laughing again. All right, all right. Lead me to the chilli pan. Brilliant. Jim, you should look as you use the boards enough from the side of the extension. Yeah, yeah, take what you like. <laughs> Burn down the close if you want. No, just the boards will do. Come on, make a space. Galloping gourmets here. Oh. Some Aussie fella used to cook on TV long before Jamie What's It. Oliver was in nappies, in fact, probably before then. <laughs> oh, yes, Jay, just the time. I need a hand with the bombing wood. Mate, I was. I'm going to get us. Oh, yeah, you can't miss the bombing and the fireworks. Come on, grab a cam. Don't be such a mizzo. Why haven't you gone yet? No worries. It's open house at Baz's. Our students going after school. Bommy, fireworks and mucho boozo. What about school? It's one afternoon, two periods of general studies. Oh, I'm getting changed and I'm out of here. Hold on, what about this mess? Look at it! Ali! Shoddy, no time! Are we watching this video or what? Everyone, this is Billy from your beauty course. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, hello, Hi. Billy, eh? Hey. My big brother's called Billy. <laughs> No, it's with an IE. You know, like oh. the bird who married Chris Evans. Oh, like clever clogs. And this is Kerry, this you went to school with. Hiya, uh, Jimmy. Hiya, Kerry, love you, all right. Yeah. Good girl. Good day, Lee, aren't you, Kerry? <sighs> Nothing else to do. Oh, oh, thanks. Hey, all we need is it to go dark. Way. Come on, grab yourselves a drink. Come through, girls. Ready Come on. The guy? Get moving, you, <laughs> will yeah. One of these? No, thanks. <laughs> You're not still going to cut, are you? I think it's for the best. Aren't you? <laughs> you're supposed to be getting married in a few weeks. Oh, I you, you mean. Jay, stay, please. Well, I don't want him, not with. I'm just gonna get a quick wash and pack some stuff. I'll call you later. <laughs> I've always known you were being looked after. What is this police business with that little girl going missing? I know your dad would never do anything like that, but. Oh, your mum was worried about you. Don't call her that. Well, she is, whatever you think. Hey, just leave it, eh? I'm trying to explain. So am I. I said leave it! Oh. Whose car is that out? This is Jan. I can explain. Mum! Oh, oh, come back. come back, please. Don't go away. Don't go away, Mum, well, please, Mum, don't. She only came because she was worried about the police and that. Don't go away, Mum. Come here. Oh. Roger. Oh, I don't know how close you were. Got your arms touch, have I? No, you're much more heavy-handed. You're dead lucky, you two, you know. Yeah, now I am. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, can you feel that? It's gonna flip and rain. Oh, yeah. Um, we're not gonna be here all night, are we? This won't burn for long. I haven't got many fireworks. Why? Well, it's just been a while since you and me and them went out into town and... Well... I'm off for it. 
No, you know. Hey, do you want to see me big rocket? Shh. It's a good job she's not listening. I know, yeah. She's that you know what to tie to when she lit the fuse. <laughs> 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 Someone started early. You wait until you see these then? Line these up right and I'll knock the live birds' heads off. Hey, who's parked in my space? Are you good? Oh, damn, I've got some fireworks. I've left them in the car. I'll give you the hand. Don't you be worrying. Have you had a word with her? Yes, I have sorted. I'm giving her away, okay? Oh, Dad, I don't know why you just don't Leave get rid of it, her. will ya? Yeah. I'd have Carly going anyway for the visit. Who's Grace? She get upset in all her old mates. No, she's fine. She's got loads of new mates now, hasn't she? Yeah. Hey, listen, Kate. I'm glad it's worked out for you. Hi, hi. Something's on fire already. That doesn't sound like fire engines to me. Look, I know it's been a shock. That's almighty. that kid up. Uh, Shut him! Shh, shh. Something's going on. I thought it was fireworks, but... Get inside! And you move! 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 Who else is here? You sure about that? Get that music off. Get them curtains shut. Get away from the window! Get these done! I said get the music down! Come on, right in here, you two! Come on! This is all down to Psycho! Why did he have to start shooting? Eddie should have never let him come with us! Psycho's dead! He's out there in that car, dead! Just worry about us getting out of here! She gets it. I mean it. I'll kill both of them. You'll never get away with this. Shut it! I'm not talking to you, soft lad. I'm talking to him. Don't stop! Don't stop! Anthony, hold me back! Please, hold me! Don't stop! That's Brookside next Wednesday at 8 here on 4. Coming up tonight, join a time team dive to reveal the secrets of one of the lost ships of Nelson's fleet, the Wreck of Colossus, next.
not time. I can't work like this. Strong for a little bit of lecky, innit? I don't know if there's anyone in the house. Yes, men with guns. Just come back now, please. Matt! Matt, the kids, where are the kids? No, no, I was just going. Well, when they with you? No, 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 no. Yeah, Rachel! Rachel. Was only... Dad, was Rachel with you? No, I was. Oh my. No, I was... <sighs> ah! Not so rough! Oh, please! Oh, please! Open up! Stop your weapon! Back off, or she gets it! I mean it, I'll kill both of them. Back up! Okay. Okay. Just stay calm. We're out. Out, man. Two female hostages, third house. They've blocked off all the roads, I've had to come through on foot. Are you sure Kirsty and Lizzie are at ours? Yeah, she called one half an hour ago. They're getting ready for some party. I didn't want any dinner. All right, well, we need some information, don't we? I'll go and speak to the coppers. We'll just have to wait. And thank God it wasn't early when me and Luke were there. Two young girls, men with guns. I couldn't bear it. Oh, come on, I'll buy you a coffee. Oh, Max, what a terrible that best. Mike, it's me. Get... Wait here, Dad. What do they want? Well, someone shot that kid up. Don't speak to him like that. You shut it and I... Stop it! What's going on? There's armed coppers everywhere now. Yeah? I got shot. You left me in that car. You dumped me. Where are you? House with tree outside in garden. White garage. We're just opposite. Our kid Never and... mind them. Where's the bag? I thought you had it. No, a bleeding oven. Where is it? Isn't it in the car? Did anyone pick you up? I don't know. You're supposed to be the brains on this job. Jesus! If you've left it with the Scousers, I'll do you for this. I'll do the lot of you. This is down to you. You, you psycho! Don't call me that! Why not? Who started shooting when there was no need? They would have had us. Has your empty head brother got the bag? Or that dozy kid? I'll have to check. There's seven keys in that bag and some tools. I need them to get out of here. Chill, will you? Find it! I want that bag, I want the gear, I want the tools. Hiya. Oh, I knew. No, but at least she wasn't on the close. Max, we're gonna have to get her a mobile. We were giving her the sack last week. Yeah, well, until we sack her. It's ridiculous not being able to get hold of her. At least we know that she and the children are not involved. Yeah. I mean, what were the police playing at, like, you know, chasing a bunch of druggies onto the close? Don't, I don't think it was their decision. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Rach, thank God. What, what they with you? Oh, well, that is brilliant. That's great. <laughs> you got any booze in? I don't know. You're having a party, aren't you? We... We'll go without. Well, don't just stand there. Yeah? What's going on in there? It's cool, kid. Well, I don't want anyone losing it. How are we gonna get out of here, bro? The psycho wants to shoot his way out, as usual. What's he saying? 
I thought he were finished. He was bleeding all over the show. He's in the house across from us. Terry's alive. Have you got the bag? He's here. It's cool. Right, if he bells you, just tell him I've got it. I don't want him going all para. He'll get us all slotted. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. That's your right. They can't handle it. What? He said they can't handle it. Shut up, the lot of you! You'll never get away with this. Shut it! I'm not talking to you, soft lad. I'm talking to him. You heard. Shut it. Careful, love. They won't let you walk out now. Just... Just leave it, eh? I will, but they won't. You're going down for this, mate. Will you shut it? And what are you gonna do? Shoot me? Then they'll be in here and you're all dead. <laughs> you animal! No, just shut up, shut up, shut up! Shut up! We don't need any more admiral. Got it? And what are you staring at? She shouldn't have had the goal. At least she tried. Hey, now come on, stop that. All these nutters want is to get away. They're not here for nothing else. What about the girls? Have the police got them? Well, they're still in the house. Oh. What about Ali? What about Ali? He was in the house. He bunked off school. Oh my God! I don't. Um, let's go tell the police. Why now? Why did she have to show up? I should have stood my ground. I should have thrown her out. No, no. Let's get everyone out safe first. Then we can think about that brass neck so and so. Turn me back on our hand. Oh, I'll never forgive myself if stop it. You can't think like this. I'll go and get us some more tea. Hey, they won't let me back in my place, you know. Don't be soft. What did you expect? Tear me out at a moment, so they wouldn't even let me stay and turn off that faulty tumble tray. There are people here with families being held hostage. All you think about is your wallet. Aren't they supposed to talk to us or something? Why did I come on this? Why did you bring that head case? How much did you add there? Just shut it. She said to go back to me real mum. Jan isn't your real mum. She isn't. Not anymore. Oh, I want my mum back. We'll get her back, son, don't worry. He'll get his missus to do us some food, butties and coffee. You heard him. She's not his wife. I don't give a toss. Get on with it. We've got the bag. And the tools, no worries. Just chill out and keep in touch. I'm telling you, I'm taking these two bitches and I'll find my way out as soon as it's dark. We've got an hour or two to wait, so get two glasses. Get two glasses, you dozy. And nothing clever. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> so, what's all this about? The party. It's fancy dress. Put some music on then, pour you to a drink. <laughs> and no fighting over who goes first, eh? Check on the garage. I've got the van. Here you go, love. Sorry, I snapped at you before. Ah, it doesn't need saying, Bridge. Not like me to stick me foot in it, is it, eh? <sighs> I'm lucky, though. At least mine are all safe. Must be hell for you and your diamond when all said and done. That's a kid. He's in there. Have you heard something? It's not that. It, it's well, just before Diane left. The reason Diane left was because Marty's first wife showed up. The real mum? She might call herself that. Now she's at gunpoint, hey? 
Some kind of justice there, Bridge. Ron. No, in a way, it's a stroke of luck. Diane should be there protecting them. Yeah, yeah, and she'll be able to, won't she, when they, uh, when they get out? I mean, that's, that's all I'm saying. Did you try and phone anyone? Did you? No. If you have, she's oh. gonna die. Leave her alone. Ooh, Mr. Hardy, wanna kill me, do you? Take it. Get hold of it! No Kevlar now. Shoot me. Here. Get your own back. Shoot me! Go on! I'm waiting, what's he boy? <laughs> Kill me! They can do it! <laughs> Why do you think they call me psycho? Because I don't care. I'll do what I want, when I want. If you don't kill me, I might kill you. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Kill me! Pull that trigger! That's all it takes. Don't waste my time, you little punks! Get out of here! No! I can't! Honey, please! Can't leave you. Now, or I'll kill her! Honey, please! Quick! <laughs> Come to me, son. Come here, quickly! When is it going to be dark? Still, let's have that drink, eh? <laughs> oh, God, sorry. No problems, I enjoy it. Oh, for God's sake, Sean. OK. I was just... Look, don't start. I wasn't. Are you all right with all this? That was all right as anyone can be, with druggies and on police everywhere. Wouldn't have happened around ours, would it? Where's Luke? He's with my mum. Oh, well... I can take him round to ours if you like. Can you stop calling it ours? It'd be better than being there than being here, wouldn't it? I don't know. Oh, come on, Ruth. It's all mad around here. He doesn't need to be part of it. I'm not trying to score points. You know I'm right. I promise I'll keep him safe. Well, you better had. Great. I don't get then, yeah? There she was, their real mother, his first wife, like some, some reception committee, all staring at me like I was a stranger. What if something happens to the kids? There's six of them. Yeah, they're fine. We're not talking to any coppers. Got it! Who's is that? Come on, I want that phone. It's me daughter. I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> I want you out of our lives. Are you asking for some more, you lippy cow? Look, it's me daughter, and you've got no right to me. I want all of them. Every mobile. Come on. Now, come on. Look, I'm sorry. On the floor. And you. I haven't got one. You what? He hasn't, honest. Yeah, they do me head in, you know. Everyone knowing where you are all the time. Well, not where you are, but uh, how to get you. All right, all right. Yeah, well, it's my son, you see. He's had an accident at school and I've got to go and pick him up. Yeah, I know. I mean, I only watched last night too, but you've got the terrestrials, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I agree, but, you know, I promise I'll be there first thing in the morning to sort it out. Honestly. No, no, I will. Trouble. 
Nah, just a few things out to be jig, you know? Social deprivation these days is not having your satellite telly working. Well, if you want to go to work, I can get Dan to pick up Luke. Well, I've just rearranged it all now, haven't I? OK, OK. Look, I'm sorry. I know I fly off the handle all the time. We've been through all of this. No, don't go, because I just need to talk to then you. get your hands off me. Sorry. Don't look at me like that. Look, I know I can't help. Well, you tie me up in knots. I mean, one minute I hate you, the, the next minute... Can't we just talk about it or something? So we already had. I still, I still don't know why you, why you did. I'm not proud of what I did, but we were the mistake, Sean. I should never have dumped down for you. I was just. Well, well, you were excited, weren't you? You know that you'd found a life that didn't revolve around school and university. That'll sell it for you, then, yeah. I just made a mistake. That's what was Luke then, a, a bit of an accident. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Maybe we should just cope, I suppose. I want my life's crap, so deal with it. I've got nothing else to say. Are you going to get Luke or what? Ruth, I will deal with it, OK? But you'll always be Luke's mum. to know anything, Jed. Come on. Hey! Drink! It's horrible. Craft some of this, then. No. You? I don't want it. You'll have to drink, then. Drink it. More. You. In one, down with it. <laughs> have a good time, won't we, mate? Look, are you sure you don't want me to stay? No, no, it's better this little tyke somewhere else. Yeah, I know. So, uh, where's the hero? Don't. Yeah, but shouldn't he have run to your side? Have a great time, babes. Yeah, we will. Look, I am sorry, it's just... I miss you. You know, how Kirsty. It's just the one, eh? Been them for me, mate. Don't know how much more of this I can take. I wanted to stay, but he made me go. I didn't want to leave our Kirsty in this. It's all right, love. It's all right. What's been happening in there, son? He's taking jokes, drinking. He's got a gun. I was hiding upstairs, but he heard me. All right, listen, just just slow down. He doesn't have to talk. Is she all right? I don't know. He tried to force me to kill him. He gave me the gun. I pointed it to his chest. I wanted to kill him, but I couldn't. He's mad. He's horrible. I wanted to kill him to save our Kirsty. I was useless. Beat me back. Bloody scum. I know we should have killed him, but I couldn't. Listen, son, you've done nothing. Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm scared he's going to do things. I hate him. Why didn't you talk to the police? Shut up! Talk to them. They might be able to arrange something. They could, uh... They could get you the car. You could take me with you. Look, Dad. Looks like someone's already given you a scene to. If you want another one, just keep talking. Otherwise, shut up! So, uh, what happened today, then? Must have, uh, must have been something big for all that lot outside. They hear it on the telly tonight, probably. 
We're away with seven kilos and the dosh. And that one over there starts shooting just because he's got some paranoid thing about scousers. And get this mess out of here! So you can do it. I'm going to bug. You heard. What are you waiting for? No. Do it! Not so tough when someone else decides to fight back, eh? Oh, is that the world-famous razor-sharp scouse wit? If you didn't have that gun, you'd see a world-famous scouse kick in the teeth. Stop it, son. He's nothing about that. Just some mank that deserves a good kicking. Is that your van outside? No way, you're not having... Why not? You're insured, aren't you? As soon as it's dark, us lot in the back, we're one of you lot, and the cops want to... No! Steve! an accident. Yeah, everything's cool. Everyone else is fine. And they'll stay like that so long as you lot stay out there. Tell him it was. Stop doing that, I said! Don't start shouting at him. He hasn't had any medication. Who are you? His nurse, mate. As good as. <laughs> Who wants to go in front? <laughs> We're going for a little walk. How will we all get out to that van? Well, you take her, I'll take her. Subject's arm. Nothing stupid! That and much more tomorrow in a double bill from eight. Celebrate Brookside's anniversary with the new book, 20 Years of Brookside, available in the shops now for £16.99. Order it by calling 0870 1234 344 or just click on to channel4.com slash shop. Next tonight, the front garden and the hallway complete the design transformation in From House to Home. to rescue hostage. You didn't have to shoot him! He tried to be the big hero! What chance did he stand against a gun? Will you all just... What? Leave the body where it is! You killed him! No! Don't come near the house! Tell them all to get back! That's our brother! Come on. Permission to rescue hostage. Okay, so what's the deal then? Don't let him get close. I'm not going down for another shooting. Oh, shit. It was an accident. Tell him it was. Yeah, okay, come and get him. Could you have just asked if our son was alive? He got stupid. He got shot. It was an accident. It wasn't. It was an accident. 
which means we're now in the frame for two shootings today. She's getting out of the cold for a bit. Yeah, I know. It's just these. These, oh, I don't know what do they want with our Kirsty. It's just wrong time, wrong place. Yeah, I know, but they've got guns and everything. They're not afraid to use them either. How's Ali? He's over the garage with Mum. He's so really cut up about leaving Kirsty. What else could he have done, eh? I'll tell you something, Ruth. If they lay one finger on my little girl, I swear to God. I've always fancied a bit of scouse. <laughs> Get that! Hello. It's Lizzy. Here's his friend. <laughs> what? Armed? No way. First time you'll have been with a real man. Education, that. <laughs> I wouldn't be stuck in here with you two. Stand by to move. I move. I could have them from here. Then they'd have you. Nah, they're not allowed to. Same old scousers always whinging. She's scared. Get away. I'm supposed to be in the pool finals tonight. And what am I doing? Trapped with two mouthy scousers. Sorry, two babes. Want some? I said, do you want some? No. Sorry, no. No, thank you. Hey. You did well before, girls. Ever fancied lap dancing? Because we're not ready to leave. Listen, we don't want to be here. Yeah, there's more than us involved. If you blag us, then I'll pull the phone out. These two are losing the ball. That one's all over the place. No, that's a blag. They never give in. They're trying to split us up. Should we take them then? No, sorry to be one shot next door. I'll phone our kid up. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out back. No way, man. It's all glass. Them snipers will have me. I'll have you in a minute. Get back. He's doing me head. Who do you think? He's not just losing it, kiddo. He's long gone. I don't know what he's gonna do. What are you doing? I'll send the cops no, there, on my phone. How? I'm the only person you know yeah. with that sort of thing. Yeah, OK. Ed safe. We're not going anywhere till it goes dark. No way. They've got night sights, infrared and stuff. He's right. You're dead meat. My money's on the police. And you, your mate's already shot someone next door, so there's no way you're going to... Don't start again! Knock it off, eh, Lucas? So how do you think you are going to get away, then? Nice tranny van outside. Us in the back, out of sight. One of these lot driving. Yeah. Way to go, Eddie. Your big brother the one with the brains, then, is he? Yeah. Well, he did well getting you in here, didn't he? That wasn't his fault. He was that... that nutter across the road. Yeah. Your kid took that mental case on, so we should get us out of this mess. Hey, you. I'm a nutter. A mental case. No need to be slagging me off because of that. Jimmy, please. You what? Lots of people have mental concerns. Don't be putting them down because of it. Fancy me cursed. It's from Jackie. Will I be home for me tea? Guess that's a no then. Said get the eggs on for breakfast. Weird that. What? Your missus called Jackie. <laughs> Same as mine. Well, not me missus. Me ex. Yeah, women. 
Is it ace enough, 50? Got blonde hair, nobles in your face, is she? On your way. Bit like you. We've probably got a lot in common, you and me. Ever been in Risley? Well, and you have, have you? Oh, I have, Risley. Walton. Our Timmy has been in Longley. Haven't you, Tim? Yeah, and I've been in Newcastle. So, right next to criminals were stumbled into here, eh, Lucas? Better watch ourselves in here, mate. Sorry to go to the bog, or you'll be watching more than... Just hold it in, eh? Hey, fuck it in. You only need the bog. No, you don't. You're just trying to get one of them up there on the nose, so you can have a go. OK, well, I just can't lie here. I don't want you getting your brains blown out. She's right, Tim. Just turn it in, eh? It's not worth the risk. You know what? I shouldn't even be here. Oh, come on, love it. It'll only take a minute, honest. I'm sorry, I can't let you in. It's my livelihood, you know. I'm sorry. Ah, was trying to get one of them bobby snip into my place, turn that faulty dryer off. The knob gets stuck, you know, you have to bang it three times. All right, love, any news? No. Come on, love. Get back in the warm. It's all well and good passing gun laws to ban them, isn't it? But these idiots say... Oh. I think Ali needs your support. Yeah. No, actually, Dad, I'm going to stay here because the police said that they'd bring I'm us through sure this I'm sure they'll let us know. So when the cycle we tried to shoot his way out? Yeah, even he knows a cops will win that one. He'll wait for dark, too. Yeah, but how will we all get out into that van? Well, well, you take her, I'll take her. Come on, lads. Shut it! Well, look, you know they won't let you get far. You see it on the telly all the time. Do you want me to do you like I did your big hero kid? Whatever we do, I say we do it without a cycle. If he sees us trying to get out, he'll come out of there all guns blazing again, just like today. Excuse me. What? Can I have a drink, please? We're not waitresses. Don't talk to him like that. Jan. There's no need for them to talk to him like that. You're making it worse. All of you's quiet now. <laughs> yeah. What? What? What's happening? Tonight, dark. Why, wait! Look out the window, will you? So? I got my cover, you got guns. Go for it! Tonight! <sighs> too late. I can't do it, man. I need some more. You've done too much. Will you just chill? <sighs> We're going without him. Kidder? Yeah, listen. Stop doing that, I said. Don't start shouting at him. He hasn't had any medication. Who are you? His nurse, mate. As good as. So, so she doesn't know what she's talking about. Power comes out of the barrel of a gun. That's it, Tom. He's talking rubbish. Going off it. It can't help that you haven't given him anything to eat or drink. OK, done. Of all the places to end up. Reading voicemail now! He's, he's ignoring me. They're gonna go. I know they are. They're gonna go. He's got the phone number of the house over there. Which one of you lives here? Me. And? We just moved here. Oh, great choice. They're gonna grasp me up. Leave it all for me to go down. That's my gear there! Get here, both of you. Say, so get here! Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to go in front? We're going for a little walk. <laughs> yeah, and these two. That should do it. Look, no one is blaming you. You did your best, yeah? What was right? These just cowards hiding behind their guns. I'd like to see one of them face up to me without one. I'm telling you, it's getting more like America. Guns all over the show, shootouts in town. They ought to bring back hanging. Here we go. Well, it'd stop all this malarkey. It's a deterrent. Didn't stop you pulling the trigger, though, did it? That was below the belt. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Subject armed. Two female hostages. Nothing stupid! Look <laughs> 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 
Let him go! Let him go! Stay where you are! I'll let this go in a minute! Please me Shut up! Take a look outside. Oh, brilliant. Get the door. What? No. Do it! Come on! Ed! Get up! Ed. Get out! Come on! Hard <laughs> man. Two female hostages now in number nine. <laughs> Are you... Are you... Go on and say it! Say it! What are we supposed to do with them? Want me to show you? <laughs> I'll show you in a minute, will you? Show me yours, and I'll show you mine. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> you brought those two birds across with an empty gun. <laughs> yeah, nothing in front of all them cops. <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> so, why leave your mate shot up in a car, Scotty boy? Oh, come on, it all went off. No one was thinking. Cops everywhere and shooting. No one expected it to come on top like that, did they? You can't run a team. I was doing all right till you started shooting everything that moves. Any grub? Get it yourself. Let me live a bit. Yap, yap, yap. Do me a favour and keep that shut, will you? So what do we do with these two? No. No way. Leave it. He means tonight. As hostages. Don't you? Of course. We've already had our fun, haven't we? <laughs> right, you two. Ow. We know you're shooting blanks. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. Two girls are coming out. Come on. Come on. That's how we saw this. Go! What about my daughter? She'll keep you in line. Come on, girls! Please. Me lad. How's the fellow who was shot? And his old fellow wants to know. On his way to hospital. Where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? Sheen and Lucas have got it next door. But this is a wind up! No. Kirsty! 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 Kirsty. I'm Michelle Stewart, family liaison officer. We're going to need to talk to you. I'm OK. Fine, but we still need to debrief you. I have to do the same with Ali. Come on. Please, Lizzie. Don't tell them. We'll see you first, Lizzie. Come on. So what's the score? So it won't be long then? OK, kiddo. This can't go on for too long. A man can only take so much. So little. A vote, democracy, that's what we need. Are you all right there, Dad? Yeah, well, is he OK? Yeah, terrific, thanks. How about you, Jim? Have you taken your tablets? Well, yeah, all the time. Look, mate. You've got to really plane up here. There's nothing I can do about it. Let him go to the toilet. Come on. Look, you stay here. Any problems, you've got a gun. Yeah. Thanks. You still blame me, don't you, Lind? What for? Do you mean Helen's putting up? Look, it's not your fault. Keep it down! Hey! The man should be heard. Free speech and all that palaver. Shut it! Please don't think he's well. Oh, that's right. Let's keep everything sweet for Jimmy, eh? What are you going on about? Nothing. The man shouldn't be a whipping boy. <laughs> Forty lashes! It's always about you, isn't it? No one old Princess Diana felt. What are you talking about? When she said that there were three people in her marriage. Wonder where he got that idea from. All of you now, shut it! You do me, Eddie. Yeah. 
He followed him around Blackpool, looking for his watches and credit cards and stuff. Who was you with? A mate. But only you got locked up for it. It's the way it goes, isn't it? <laughs> and how much do you get for your watches and your credit cards? All right. Poxy fence suck it all anyway. Most of it. Do you know how much is in that old door downstairs? One bag of that gear is worth about 30k. And what did my teachers tell me to do? A scheme which leads nowhere except to 35 quid a week on the dole or four quid an hour slave labour. Yeah, I've been there. So it's a easy routine. Eh? <laughs> you call this easy? You should play in your own backyard. All I had to do was come down Scouseland and rob some no-mark dealers. Yeah, and shoot them and take hostages. You sound like my P.O. Just keeping it real. I know what you're doing, but we're not giving in. And hurry up. Lizzie, this is very important. Did he harm you? Did he touch you? No. Would you like one of your parents here for a bit of support? No. I'm all right. Who are you staring at? No one. So I'm a no one, am I? Terry, pack it in, will you? No! Hold on! What happened to your face, then? I, um... I just got into a bit of a fight. <laughs> bit of a domestic, was it? Did you do that? No. Like a bit of a spar, did Leave him alone! You're pretty gorgeous. We'll keep those lovely lips together while our man's talking. Bit old-fashioned, I know, but it always worked well in our house. Look, I'm not giving you any grief while you're doing it to us. Got some sort of plan, have you? The chat coded between you and her, is it? <laughs> is it you? Can I turn on your way out, are you? The Great Escape, are you? No, I'm just sitting here. I'm sick of this. Get me all the way down here and then... There's a grass, isn't there? What? Work it out. We get to Liverpool, the cops turn up. Someone's talking. No. You started shooting, cos someone looked at you funny. There's a grass! Let's all just chill, eh? You OK, Liz? Thanks, Lizzie. Do you want to come through? I'll be OK, Bob. I had to go in with Ali. I'll be OK. I'm here if you need me. Ali was a minor. Kirsty can do this on her own. I'm sorry. It's all this. It's just... It's getting to me. Yeah, something always is. I'm not a nutter. He is. Has to be. To be in a house full of them. Daddy, you all right? Have you taken your tablets? He means you death. The man needs his medication. He gets ill. Sit down. Look, he needs help. Now, either do something about it or just get out. Jean, get down here now! <laughs> Are you all right? I think so, yeah. You idiot! I'm sorry, OK? Is it the cops? Are they coming? If they start, it won't be my fault. I'll have to get out. Well, you shut up a minute! Yeah? It doesn't matter. It was an accident, OK. No one's uh... hurt. <sighs> well, kidder. Everyone just chill. No heroes, right? We know something happened. We just need you to tell us your version. Nothing happened to me. So there's nothing to tell. That's OK. Maybe some other time when we're a bit further away from this. What did he do that for? Guns don't just go off. 
They'll be through the windows if that happens again. Look, talk to him. Calm him down. I could have had my eye out. <laughs> you idiots! Terra, calm down, man. It was Lucas. Did we have to bring him? He's all right. He just got a bit panicky. He's a kid. I met his. And then you two got any C? It's all next door. You know that. What about you? Got anything stashed upstairs? No. Ah! What did you tell me it was next door? I could have gone there instead of here. I need it. Now we haven't got any. Then we'll have to get some, cos I'm going off my head in here. We wait. When it's dark, we move. Until then, we wait. So what is the domestic situation here, then? I, uh... You look like a bit of handful. Bye. Do you want to try? What are you stirring at? It's day away from kids. Mr. Pedophile. We know where you are, and we'll see you for proper justice. Pedophile? And that's coming up next, completing tonight's double bill. Later on tonight, Graham Norton meets former Scary Spice Mel B at 10 o'clock.